G'day you bloody legends, welcome back to another episode. Today I have something super, super special that I'd like to share with you guys. Introducing my new rig, the Ripinator. Now, if you know me, you know I've always had a goal to travel around Australia in a van. But as I grew up, I realized that four wheel driving is definitely the go. And this new rig is well overqualified for the job and here's why. So starting from the front, we've got the ARB spotties, followed by the ARB bull bar, and then in underneath here, we've also got a winch. Um, that winch is all remote operated. I can control it from the dash or manually with the control. What we got here is the two antenna Oricom UHF, and that gives me the maximum range for all different terrains to have signal in all types of areas off grid. Underneath here, we've got the custom off-road underbody bash plate, and that bash plate isn't a standard bash plate. It actually runs through about halfway underneath the entire of the car. It also comes with a three inch stainless steel exhaust. And um, following on the bull bar, we've got the scrub bars that flow down onto the side steps here. Um, the Safari snorkel. Up top, we've got the Rhino roof rack, and that comes equipped with the shovel and jack mount holder for them. Um, the entire cab has got like a plastic film on it. You can't really see it, but it's got a plastic film on it and that's to protect it from any kind of bushes or shrubs, any overgrown tracks on the, on the road. So coming onto the canopy, we've got the Mitz Alloy Aluminium color-coded canopy to match the cab. Uh, that comes with central locking, uh, compression locks, and also 100 liters of water. So in behind the back here, we've got a sublime tank. That tank flows down into another tank underneath here and uh, it combines to 100 litres of pressurised water. Underneath the tray here, we got two under tray storage boxes and in this one on this side, I've got the ARB twin air compressor. Now just hit that switch and I've got compressed air straight out the back here. That comes with a tyre, inflator, digital reader, the lot. It's absolutely mint. Going into the sides here, on this side, we've got the, the storage box or the dog box. Um, whatever I want to use that for in there. The huge amount of storage, which is awesome. This front plate comes off as well, which will give the ventilation for the dog or animal, whatever animal you got in there. And then on this side, I've got more storage. Um, bunch of fish and crap in here at the moment, but more storage in here. I've got a hot oven, like a Travel Buddy 12 volt oven. That's insane, that's a great feature. And in here guys, I've got the 200 amp lithium ion battery and that thing stores all my power for my off-grid 240 volt uh, power system. It's plugged into a 2000 watt inverter and then it's also got 300 watts of solar on the top of the rooftop tent, which is wicked. So I can power coffee machine, air fryer, whatever. Uh, I really want with that kind of power system. I don't, I can't run it for a massive amount of time, but it's an awesome feature to have and I'm stoked about it. Following into the back here, we've got the spare wheel carrier on the back. Um, I've got the ladder, which helps me get in and out of the rooftop tent. Um, also on the back here, this is a, a tunnel drawer. So I've got more storage in the back here with this tunnel drawer, which is wicked. Um, also my favorite, absolute favorite feature of this rig and this is complete luxury a hot shower on the road that is unheard of it's one of the biggest features why i bought this vehicle i've tested it out it works a treat and uh, it's gas powered which is why we've got the gas bottle here so just a couple of hoses hooked up to the, the pressurized water um, and then we've got the awning here that folds out and then you're good to go all the privacy you need hot shower straight up into the rooftop tent for a good night's sleep. So, alrighty, I'll show you the penthouse now, past the sat. We go up this ladder here, and um, there she is. We've got an awesome, awesome rooftop tent here. I've had a couple of great nights sleeping here already. And um, anywhere you pull up, you've got these little mesh windows for awesome views. As soon as you wake up, you can have sunrise or the beach or, you know, wherever you are, you've got the best view in the house. Up here, it's also got power system for charging your phones and a little LED strip that runs up the side here. So that's pretty mint. We've also got these shoe bags as well. They fold down and you can chuck, chuck your dirty shoes in there before you get into the, into the tent. Underneath here, we got the tow bar, the pressurized water, um, the suspension systems, all airbag, heavy duty 
superior engineering suspension. Uh, we've also got 150 litre long range fuel tank, which is awesome for those big trips. Um, it's also got an extra oil catch can and a fuel filter, just in case we run into some dodgy fuel on the road and um, extra protection for that engine. It's also got diff breathers, um, which is awesome for river crossings. Righto, moving on to the awning, I got the Camp Boss 270 degree awning. Awesome product, so far so good. I've taken this out for a test ride already. It does really well without any of the legs down, but if it's quite bad, if the wind's quite bad, you've got these fold down legs, which just unstrap and, uh, and fold down. You can adjust those into position. No dramas whatsoever. Another couple of awesome features that it comes with are this half moon zipper. So not all awnings, it's probably one of the only ones in the market that has this half moon zipper, which is ideal for my style of rooftop tent. Great, one of the main reasons why I bought it. Um, it also comes with lights. So each one of these arms has little LED lights. They can be changed color as well. This kind of lighting's super valuable. Once you've set up and it gets dark, you need all the light you can get. So I'm really stoked with this product. Okay, now moving on to the business end of the canopy. This is where all the magic happens. We've got the fridge, the pantry, and one of my other favorite features, which is the cooktop. That's an induction style cooktop powered by the 240 volt power system that it has. And then this drawer pulls all the way out too. So pretty solid too. Over here, we got the pull out pantry as well, which is super handy right by the kitchen setup. And then if you come over here, we've also got the fridge slide, uh, the clear view fridge slide. And I've got a 75 liter Dometic fridge, which is what I'm running, which gives me plenty, plenty of fridge space and freezer space um, for my travels on the go. So got to be happy with that. It's got two bays, absolutely mint. Alrighty guys, so in here, this is where all my power supply comes from. So I got 240 volt here. And this is ideal for charging my laptop, my GoPro, my drone, all that kind of thing straight out of there. To turn the 240 volt on, you just kind of hold this button and then flick the switch, um, which is super, super convenient. Over here, we got all the 12 volt power. So I've got all these USB ports, USB-C, 12 volt inlets as well, the little cigarette lighter. On the wings of each door of the canopy, we've also got lighting up here. So just hit this button here, and we've got lights, boom. They can be dimmed. I can change the color to the amber for the midges, which is brilliant. Um, also, we've got another light that shines on the back here for the shower area um, once that awning is all stretched out for the shower, which is wicked. Also, another mad feature is this Bluetooth speaker built into the rig. Um, it's got party lights, Speaker on. And it absolutely pumps. <laughs> I've tried it out. We had a bit of a doof the other day at Fraser, which was mint. Anyway, you get the gist. So over here, we've got another tap, which is gravity fed by the water tank. Um, and what else have I got to show you? Oh, it's got 33 inch tires on ROH rims, which look pretty, pretty cool. There's other features it's got, it's got an aftermarket center console at the top here, which holds extra storage, brighter LED lights, and my UHF, which is wicked. Underneath as well, because it's the carpet, premium Hilux with the carpet on the inside, it's got waterproof carpet underlay, which is a huge extra feature I didn't even know I had. Righto guys, big things to come in the new year. I'm super excited to share with you guys that as of next year, I'll be embarking on a massive trip around Australia's coastline solo. So if you'd like to see this bad boy in action, join the adventure on my socials. Just search Rip In on TikTok, Insta, YouTube, or Facebook. Thanks guys, much love. You.